In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up rigid body constraints so you can create a basic car like this. And once you understand how to set up the rigid body constraints, then pretty much you can modify it however you want or however you need it for your scene. All right, let's get started. All right, first thing I'm going to do is change this to cycles because I like cycles. Pull that out. I'm going to get rid of this lamp because we don't need it. And I'm going to hide the camera. I'm going to press in on the keyboard so that I can bring out the side menu and turn on screencast keys. Make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. All right. Now, this cube right here, we're going to keep that. One of the only projects I've ever done where we keep the cube. We want to make this, this is going to represent the car body. So I'm going to make this a little bit thinner. Go to 0.5 on the Z axis. And then on the Y axis, I'm going to make it 9. And then on the X axis, make it 5. And I'm going to go ahead and set that size and uh, by pressing control A or apply the size or the scale and press scale. Now I need to add rigid body physics to that object. Go over here to the physics tab, press rigid body. Alright, now we're going to go into press 7 on the keyboard, go top side view, press 5 to go to orthographic view and we need to add wheels. Go to add, mesh, and then cylinder. Now we need to rotate that on the Y axis by 90 degrees. So R, Y, 90. We want it to be quite a bit thinner, but bigger around. So on the X axis, bring it to three. On the Y axis, bring it to three. On the Z axis, bring it to 0.75. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to move this wheel to the top right corner of uh, the car body. Press G to grab and then move it and then just I'm just going to put it about right there. You can pretty much put it wherever you want but that's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to go ahead and add rigid body physics to that and just leave the settings the same. And I'm going now I'm going to make sure the wheel is selected and then shift right click on the car and then press over here go over to the physics tab and press connect and then change this from fixed to generic now go ahead and change this to wireframe so we can see the inside of the car and as you can see right here I'm going to right click on it there's what looks like an empty and what that is, that's actually a rigid body constraint. But we want this x-axis to be like the axle of the car. So what we want to do, we want to make sure that the, that only the constraint is selected. And then drag that up until it's right in the center and try to make it as close as possible. Now, go ahead, make sure, make sure the constraint is still selected, and then shift and right click on the car body so that both of them are selected, and then press Control U, pardon me, not Control U, Control P, because you want a parent that um, constraint to the car body. So press Control U and then click Object. 
Now, with just the constraint selected, go over here, make sure the physics tab is on, you should see this. Now, what we want to do here is, we want this to be like the axle, the x-axis we want it to act like the axle of a car and the, we want the wheel to rotate around that x-axis which is right here this is the x-axis for that constraint we want it to rotate freely but we don't want the wheel to move up this way and that way out this way we don't want it to rotate around in the other on the other axis so on the x-axis and Y axis and Z axis for the location and for the Y and Z axis on the angle we want to select them but keep the X axis unselected now change every one of these settings to zero Now we have limited every single movement except so that the tire or the wheel can rotate around the X axis. Now right click on the wheel and then shift right click on the constraint and then press shift D to duplicate and then press X to move on the X axis. and then just move the wheel to about right there and then this right click on the axis or on the constraint and then move it to about right there now right click on the wheel right click on the act on the constraint right click on this constraint and then right click on that wheel and then press shift D and then Y to move it on the Y axis and then just move it to about there now let's go ahead and press 3 on the keyboard and then zoom out so we're seeing it from the side now let's add a ground add mesh plane and then scale it up we'll just I'm just scaling it to some weird number it doesn't really matter just as long as you have enough ground so it can roll on because it's just the teaching exercise all right now I want to rotate it on the X axis rotate X so that we have a little bit of angle to the ground and since it's going to be rolling that direction I'll slide it over a little bit now with the ground selected click on rigid body and then change it to passive because we don't want gravity to, to pull the ground down we want the ground to stay in place all right now I'm gonna press 5 to leave orthographic mode and that now I'm going to go into solid mode and if we've done it correctly, if we press play, the car should fall against the ground and then start rolling forward. There we go. And then to get a better sense of the movement of the wheels and tire, or the wheels, we can go ahead and put this into material mode and then right click on each tire give it or each wheel give it a material in this case I'm just gonna keep it diffused but put give it a checker texture just so we can actually see the movement better of course you can make it any material you want and with the ground we'll just uh, add 
an image texture anything you want pretty much I'm just going to I'm just going to add this texture just because I've used it a lot and I like it and I'm going to change this to generate it now if we press play we can see it falling and rolling and that's pretty much it you know once you get this part down you can build you can add whatever you want to the car itself but that part is in my opinion probably one of the hardest parts to wrap your head around I hope I explained myself pretty good if I didn't let me know and I will try to clarify anyway thanks for watching later people